as he's putting the catheter in, he looks at me and I said, the fuck is he looking at? He goes, are you an actor? I said, yeah. I said, you do soap? I said, yeah. <laughs> you play Victor Newman? I said, yes. What? That was a big challenge. Oh, What's yeah. one of the most recent challenges you had? Well, I'm gonna, I guess I know what oh. this is. Well, you know, you're getting older. I'm 49. You look fabulous. Well, you look fabulous no matter what your number is. I'm I will say that. I'm gonna be 83 in April. More of this. <laughs> the world needs more of this. It's so wonderful to see and to be around. Thank you. That's nice. And it's it's a yeah. really it's more we need more. So getting older, you know, I had my hip redone and uh, uh, from all the sports, and then finally my left knee went out. Had that a year ago. I had that replaced, and then uh, I started having prostate issues, you know, as you are want to do when you get older. Mm -hmm. Damn thing grows and impinges on the urethra meaning you have to go to the bathroom more often. Like all the time. Period, mm -hmm. precisely. To the point where it was six, seven times at night. Mm. I thought, shit. So I went to a well-meaning urologist who, nice guy, but different story, not very capable. And then finally got so bad that I couldn't pee at all. Oh. Boom. At night, got panicked. Called his office, left messages, no return, nothing. And you get panicked, I tell you. Nothing comes out. It's building up. Right. So I got in my car, drove to his office myself. The secretaries never picked up, they were just lazy, didn't pick up. Walked into the office, I said, he says, do you have an appointment? I said, never mind, get this doctor here right now, right now. He came, I said, Bob, he said, okay, Bob, they ca catheterized me, catheterized me. Okay, so they put a catheter in. Right, they cathed me, I guess. Okay. The relief. So, they give you a bag, but Bob, you go home. For a few days, you have the bag there, and it's all okay, it's all not bad. And then about a week or a few days later, I went back in, I took the bag out, and he says, let's take a cystoscopy. I said, what the hell is that? So we take a camera up your, and they did that, okay, long story short, he says, no, you're all fine, you're clear. I said, okay, relief. I didn't think of cancer at all. Mm -hmm. So, Went home. Oh no, we're moving on over to society. And Amelia, please join us. I forget the time frames now. That's one thing that you forget about as you get older. You, your chronology sort of gets. So I don't remember at what time frame this happened. Went home and uh, again began to have difficulties peeing. And then one day on the way to work, I said, shit, this is happening again. You can sense it, you feel it. Not coming out. So I remember uh, driving by a hospital in this area, and I remember seeing a thing called Tower Urology. You know, you see it sort of unconsciously driving by. Yeah. So, shit, I'm going to pull it. You did. You pulled it. <laughs> Love it. Walked up to the desk. Yes, I said, I am, if there's an emergency, Bob, Bob, Bob. She says, please wait a minute, Bob. He took me in. So. An Asian doctor comes up, says, oh, yeah, okay, we'll give you a catheter, gives me a catheter. As he's putting the catheter in, he looks at me and I said, what the fuck is he looking at? He goes, are you an actor? I said, yeah. <laughs> then, you do soap? I said, yeah. <laughs> you play Victor Newman? I said, yes. What? He says, I learned English when I came from Vietnam, watching your show. Cow, get out of here. Brilliant. I swear to you. I l love that. I swear to you. It all comes together. I swear to you. 
and um, you dr you just ra you were driven to him. You drove yourself to him. Wow. So again, the back by bab. Then again, the follow-up exam with the cystoscopy, and he says, "So matter of, matter of fact, he says, oh, you have cancer." I said. So right away he knew. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, during the cystoscopy. Uh huh. I took camera into the bladder. They look. You see it, okay? As if. Just matter of fact. Yeah. I said, "Whoa, okay, huh." What do we do? He says, well, you need two things. You need what is called a Eurolift, which is where they put a stent into the urethra to drive apart the encroaching prostate. Okay. Very much like a stent going to the arteries, mm -hmm. driving the plaque aside, mm -hmm. okay? He says, and what? What's that? We will clean out the cancer. I said, okay. Yeah. I, what choice do you right. have? Right? You just do it. So, now, truth be known, my eldest brother, who just turned 90 now, perfectly clear in his head and all that, had his bladder taken out 11 years ago, about the same age, a little younger. He had not noticed the early signs of it mm -hmm. until the cancer penetrated the bladder walls, the muscle walls. Okay. That's a different stage of cancer. Oh, okay. Mine was before it reached that stage. So mine could be handled with BCG. B stands for bovine, and CG is calmet and sub B, C, G, Calmet, and something. Garin, two French scientists from the 1940s, had developed a vaccine for tuberculosis. Later on found that it can also be used to fight the early stages of bladder cancer. Isn't that something? Beautiful. That's amazing. Isn't that something? Yes. So, anyway. I went to the surgery, all went well, I felt better already, but a few days after the surgery, they got the biopsy report back from the cancer, and he says, you know, I think we got it all. So all he says, oh, wait a minute. Uh, well, he says, you have some high-grade cancer cells as well. I guess they're different kinds of cancer okay. cells. Some are very aggressive. I had some high-grade ones as well. I said, what does that mean? He says, well, you need BCG treatment. What does that mean? They grab your urethra again, they insert a serum into your bladder, and that arouses your own immune system and fights the cancer early right, on. Right, so it's immunotherapy, I Yes, think, precisely. Right. Mm -hmm. So it burns like hell for a day or two, you got to pee all the time, but you know, if you know that, that's okay. Yeah. Then you know it. It's all right. You yeah. do it. Yeah. It's not bad, really. <coughs> you know, and I forget again after how many treatments. They did another cystoscopy, and he said you're cancer-free. However, he says prophylactically, we will continue the treatment, but in greater. Mm -hmm. Distances. Yeah, yeah, with more time in between. More time in between, greater breaks. Okay. So I'm now, I had my last one two months ago, and I'll be checked again with the cystoscopy in January. If it's clean still, then, you know, it's pretty good. Yeah. And I will, then they will, I have BCG treatment then again with greater spaces in between. I don't mind that. Mm. That's quite good. You, you look like you, you would never know you had all this recently. No. no. So I think a lot of it, you tell me, but I think a lot of it has to do with the way you... I don't know if it does or not, but I guess, uh, but I've, you know, I'm, I'm, 
I'm I'm a fighter. I'm from sports, mm. so mm. said, bring it on. Let's go. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah. So it's it's it's, and then if I know the facts, what do I need to do? This this. Okay, let's go. By you the know? way, your doctor must have a fabulous accent. If he learned from you, I tell you, I will never ever in my life forget that moment. Never. Because if he learned his English from you, did you listen? Did he had you, a good. He had a good. He spoke without an accent. He was Vietnamese. His family had come over during that time, I guess. Whenever, and uh, he learned English by watching the damn show. That's so perfect. <laughs>